So let's solve the carnival problem in physics. So this is a rotational motion problem that involves the spinning carnival ride where we are given our tangential velocity. Now we're only focusing on one section of the swing here. We don't care about these other sections. And we're trying to figure out the period of motion, which is the amount of time it takes to complete this cycle. What I'm gonna use is this equation, which is tangential velocity equals the circumference of a circle over the period of motion. Now notice right here how the length of this rope is acting as the radius of our circle. And take these values and plug them in for the radius and tangential velocity. And notice that I'm keeping units on these numbers here because I want you to focus on what happens. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take this 2 pi times 25 meters, I'm going to simplify this, and then I'm going to take the period and multiply it on both sides. They'll get the periods to cancel, giving me this equation right here. Now I'm going to take this 15 meters per second and divide it by both sides, the equation, giving me this equation. Now I can take this fraction right here and flip it and bring it to the top. That'll give me something that looks like this. Now what I need to do is take 50 times pi and divide it by 15. Here you're going to get 10.47 approximately seconds. So notice that the period of motion is a unit of time since we got seconds. 